everyone so welcome to my last favorites of 2015 video today's one's gonna be a little bit more of a chill one basically just a whole bunch of random stuff I'm gonna show you more of the beauty related stuff first so some like fake tan hair care hair styling stuff skincare you know and then I'm gonna finish off with some random stuff and some of my favorite TV shows and movies and stuff of 2015 so I hope you guys enjoy this video and feel free to leave your favorites down below as well I would love to see your favorites especially when it comes to movies and TV shows because I'm always looking for new stuff to watch by the way side note my lipstick is wild child lip gloss by dose of colors if you are wondering so starting with hair care two things that have like completely changed my life this year well I've been using Batiste for ages it's not really just this year but I just thought I would mention it Batiste dry shampoo my favorite brand of dry shampoo and probably the cheapest one that I've found as well I just love it it works so well for me I especially love the scent the tropical I also like the one in the leopard print can it's just amazing stuff like I'm not gonna really talk about it for long because you've heard me talk about it before also this stuff I've also talked about before I've gone through so many bottles of this this year but it's changed my life I didn't actually have it today to blow dry my hair and my hair is like slightly frizzy you can't really tell too much because my hair doesn't go like crazy but this is basically a blow dry leave-in conditioner you put it in before you blow dry and it cuts down your blow drying time so much when I blow dry my hair with this product it literally takes me maybe like four minutes to blow dry my hair and it also conditions it as you go and protects it from the heat and it makes my hair so silky smooth when I use it like I definitely notice a difference like between today when I didn't use this and then like other days when I do use it so yeah it's called KMS free shape. I'll list everything down below. A couple of face masks that changed my life this year. The first one I will talk about is this one. Eisenberg Paris. This is the Mask Purifint. I need to buy more of this but I don't know where to get it. I know they have an online website but I couldn't find this exact mask. So if any of you know where I can buy this, please let me know. I bought this in Italy when I went to Italy <laughs> because my skin was playing up. I need something to clear up my skin because I had like breakouts from traveling and everything. She just handed me this. She said this is the best. It was pricey but holy crap it was worth it it's not on the american sephora i don't think so yeah if you know where to get it please let me know it's basically like a really light kind of minty green color the smell is so nice i don't even know what it smells like it's just so refreshing and delicious it's so creamy it doesn't dry out my skin but it still gets rid of my imperfections so well it helps to reduce the swelling it just makes my skin feel smooth and like slightly exfoliated but it doesn't, yeah, it just doesn't dry out my skin. Like my skin feels supple afterwards. It's just such a great product. And even though it was super pricey, I have used this so many times and I've still got a little bit left. There's 75 grams or 75 mil. So yeah, pricey, but in my opinion, worth it. On the back, it says it is an all over balancing treatment. It's a pore perfector and it's good for combination or oily skin. I have normal to dry skin and it still works really well, so. You know. The next one, if you watch my vlog channel, you know I love this. This is the Manuka Doctor Epiclear Purifying Facial Peel. Balance for skin imperfections with Manuka Honey and Purified Bee Venom. This is basically one of those masks that you put on and then it dries and you peel it off. It makes my skin look so radiant when I peel it off. It's just such a great product. It just feels so good and it's so satisfying to peel off like the big strips. If you watch my vlog channel, chances are you've seen this. I've got three other skincare products. I have so many skincare products I really love, but... These are the ones that kind of stood out when I was rummaging through my stuff. First, Angels on Bare Skin Cleanser. This is like a creamy, clayish kind of texture. I can't really show you because um, I well and truly run out. <laughs> I need to go repurchase it. It's my favorite cleanser like of the year. I used it so often. I went through like three or four tubs of this. It's just so gentle and it really makes my skin glow. It says on the front, evens out skin tone, reduces redness, improves the health and appearance of your skin, giving a natural healthy glow. And I agree with like everything that it says. It's moisturizing, it's brightening, it just feels so nice and it still exfoliates a little bit because it has like little chunks in it as well. Next up, this eye cream changed my life. I don't know if you guys remember but I was suffering with like under eye creasing for a while and I thought I was just getting wrinkles and I was like this is not fair but it wasn't. It was just that my under eye area was so dehydrated that all of my products were like sticking to my dry skin under my eyes. This is the Hydrating Eye Cream by Bobbi Brown and this like completely saved my under eye area. It is so moisturizing and nourishing but so lightweight. It doesn't feel real heavy or greasy under my eyes. It's just such a good product and literally in a matter of like days of using it, 
my under eye area was so much more plump and moisturized and it just looked visibly better and my makeup on top just went on so much smoother and didn't crease and go chunky and cakey I just love this so much and then the last skincare product I don't even want to show you this because last time I showed it so many of you went and bought it that I couldn't buy it because they like sold out for a while so before I upload this video I might stock up <laughs> this is the Innisfree Beja anti trouble spot essence it's basically like a moisturizer but I don't know what's in it but it really just kills my breakouts and it's so hydrating at the same time usually like acne treatments are so drying but this is just so moisturizing i love it so much i don't even know what to say other than it works for me fake tan loving tan of course i promote this a lot because i truly love it it's what i wear like if i'm wearing fake tan it's this my favorites are the deluxe bronzing mousse in ultra dark which is just like a regular foam fake tanner you leave it on for like i don't know six to eight hours or whatever they rinse it off i'll put my fake tanning routine down below and then the other one I love is the 2 Hour Express. This one develops in 2 hours, so it's really good for like last minute kind of like, you know, if you wake up in the morning and mate's like, oh, let's go clubbing tonight. And it's so dark. I even think it might be even darker than this. Like, I don't know why. I've been using this for like 4 days. <laughs> so this is totally cheating, but I just wanted to mention it now because you'll probably still be able to get it. I don't know if it's available year round, but I know it's usually available at Christmas time. This is the Spiced Gingerbread Cookie Shower Gel Wash Thing by Philosophy. This is my favorite body wash ever in history, like of anything. I love it so many body washes, like the scents of so many different ones, but I would literally drink this if I could. It smells phenomenal. If you can find it, go smell it. If you love gingerbread and ginger kisses and like, you know anything gingery like that oh my goodness it is heaven <laughs> for perfumes i've mentioned so many this year that i love i've literally done like a top 10 perfume video i've done like heaps of favorite perfumes and my favorites videos throughout the year but i narrowed it down to my all-time favorite of the year and that is black opium by ysl this sold out incredibly fast i think was it last year like the end of last year but throughout this year i have just worn it so often i don't go through perfume very fast one because i don't wear it every single day because i forget and two because i've got so many perfumes like as you can see behind me that's only a fraction of them that i always switch up my scent i don't wear the same one like every day or anything but i've used so much of this considering like yeah i this is incredible it smells amazing it's like vanilla-y and deep and sexy and just go smell it. It's amazing. A couple more beauty related things and then we're on to like random stuff. Revita Brow and Revita Lash. So many people always comment on my videos saying like, oh your lashes are so nice and your brows are so nice. Like what do you do to them? I use Revita Brow on my brows and I use Revita Lash on my lashes. This stuff truly works. It is the only lash and brow serum proven safe for around your eye area that's not going to give you any kind of like eye color change or anything like that it just works it works amazing it is expensive but it lasts you a really long time it's a lot of money up front but when you factor in how long it's going to last you it's actually like not bad at all i absolutely love these products i swear by them i actually sell them on exo beauty because i love them so much like we don't stock many products that aren't my own products but i swear by these favorite candle of the year what kind of beauty girl would i be if i didn't tell you about my favorite candle this is lust by crawlers and crawlers is a new zealand website you can buy like edible bugs off there i bought some like edible like scorpions um, edible worms. I think they were like some wetters or grasshoppers or something. I don't know. I haven't eaten them yet because I got them for like a YouTube video, like a challenge, but I just don't want to eat them. So yeah, they've just been sitting there for like the past year. This website also sells candles and they are the best candles I've ever smelled in my life, okay? This is called Lust and it is white chocolate macadamia scented. You can smell it without even opening the damn box. I wish I could send each and every one of you like a candle because I want you all to experience this. Oh my gosh, it's so strong. It's one of those ones you can literally like sit in your room and it'll just smell. However, when you burn it, the scent is so strong. It fills the whole house with the deliciousness. They sent this to me because they saw how much I loved like the other one I had. Like it was the same scent as this. But with this one, they also sent me a, I think it's orange and chocolate or something. And it's incredible as well. And I've also got a mint chocolate one or something, I think it is, in my bedroom. I can't remember. But yeah. Oh my gosh. My magic bullet. If you guys watch my vlog channel, it's a no-brainer. I use my Magic Bullet almost every day to make smoothies, and it's just the best little thing. I do have a Vitamix, which if you don't know, Vitamixes are like really intense blenders, and they make really good smoothies, but they're a mission to clean, and they also cost like $1,200. Whereas I got my Magic Bullet off Tree Me for like $100. 
looking at it from Briscoe's all the time for real cheap. And basically you just chuck everything in here. There's like a little blade lid and then you pop it in and then you turn it and it blends. And in like 30 seconds you've got a smoothie and it's so easy to clean. You just rinse it out and it's done. I just love this thing. It's so much easier than getting out my Vitamix and cleaning it and you know, blah, blah, blah. And it does just as good a job. So if you love smoothies and you just want something faster in the morning, so good. And it also comes with like little lids that you put on so you can take it with you if you're like just rushing out of the house and want to drink in the car or something. I love, love, love my Magic Bullet. <laughs> I saw someone that got sponsored by Magic Bullet once and I was like, gulps. <laughs> Next up, this is such a random one, but I thought I'd like chuck these in because these are at my bed ta bed bedside table and in my car because they're so good. These are the Eclipse Mints Chewy Mints. And I like the spearmint flavor better than peppermint. Let me know down below, are you a peppermint girl or a spearmint girl? Oh boy, they are so good. They're like real like, I don't know. Mm. I'm not a big lolly person and I'm not a big gum person. And this is like both together, except I like it. <laughs> My Yui Boom. I got given this when I went on the Contiki with a whole bunch of YouTubers like last year or the year before last year while you're watching this, I think. I'm getting so lost like when it comes to time. But I just wanted to mention this because it is definitely my favorite little like speaker. I use it every single time I travel. I take it with me and you just Bluetooth it up to your phone and it's actually like incredible quality. I remember back in the day like every little Bluetooth speaker was so like grainy and terrible quality. Like it just sounded like shit. But this is so good and you can buy like a smaller one now I think or a bigger one. No, you can buy both. They've got like a small roll one which is smaller and then they've got an even bigger one. But honestly, this goes super loud. Like if we put this on full blast, it's like louder than we would ever use it. Even if we're at like a party or anything, like I wouldn't really have it pumping at maximum. So yeah, if you're looking for a good speaker just to take with you if you're traveling or anything, I highly recommend this one. Such a good gift idea too if you like don't know what to buy someone if they love like music and stuff. It's such a good Good gift idea. My camera. This is my Sony A5100 and I bought this because Desi uses it and Samantha uses it. If you know who they are, I'm sure you do. Basically it's just like the best selfie camera ever. It's got a little flip up screen. I just used the little lens that came with it. It's got like a skin smoothing like filter thing that you can put on it. I have it on low and it makes you look so flawless but it still shows everything. Like it doesn't just like blur your skin. It's really bizarre. Like you can still see your imperfections and everything which I think is a good thing. Because I don't want to look too like blurry or fake or whatever. And it shows up your makeup so well and like so defined. Like if I'm wearing glitter, it shows it. Like I used to just use my iPhone, but this has changed my like selfie game. Oh my gosh. I still use my iPhone camera occasionally, but this like if it's a makeup photo, it just is so good. I love it. I forgot to mention this before because I put it on the floor. But this is the Numi. I think it's the Lustrum set. This is not sponsored. I do a lot of sponsored videos with Numi. So you've probably seen me talk about them a few times before. I do lots of hair tutorials using their stuff. But I thought I would show you this because I genuinely like love Numi hair curlers. They are my favorite. Anytime I want to like properly curl my hair, sometimes I'll just use a GHG or whatever and like do half-assed ones. But if I want proper curls, I always use Numi. Not always this set, but this is my favorite set. But I do have other Numi hair curlers as well, which I love. But I thought I'd show you this one because lots of people always ask me like, what is your ultimate favorite Numi set? Because there's so many. I think it is this one just because you get a variety of like different sized curlers. I think this is called a Lustrum anyway. I'll confirm it and write it down below. If I write something different, it's because I got the name wrong. But yeah, it's so good. It makes my hair look so shiny, like the materials it's made out of. The curls last so well. It's such good quality. I just love it a lot. So it's definitely one of my favorites of the year. Okay, moving on to other favorites. I've written a list on my phone because I don't want to forget anything. And I hope I haven't forgotten anything because there's definitely like a lot of stuff I've loved this year, if this makes sense. I'm going to talk about my favorite TV shows and then my favorite movies. So my all-time favorite TV show of this year and one of my all-time favorite TV shows of all time is definitely The Office USA. I just love The Office so much. I can't even describe to you how much I love it. I feel like there is a gif of The Office for any situation in life. It is just the best show ever. It's hilarious. Dwight is definitely my favorite character. I think he's like one of the best characters on TV. It took me a while to get into it. I didn't really love the first season. Then after that, I just fell in love. Me and Hamish like binge watched it every single night. I love it so much. It's an amazing show. And it makes me upset every time I think about how it's over. At the moment, I'm watching Parts and Recreation, which is definitely a favorite this year as well. It's not as good as The Office, but it is a very, very close second. It's hilarious. I'm almost at the end and I'm starting to get really like emotionally invested in all of the characters. And when people start like leaving or whatever, I just start getting really upset and I don't know. It's such a good show as well though. Anyway, another couple of comedies. First, 
Trailer Park Boys. Trailer Park Boys is basically about a bunch of Trailer Park Boys, you know, a whole lot of guys and girls that live in a trailer park. I think it's based in Canada and it's just hilarious. They're really tragic, they love their booze, and they're always trying to make money. And it's another mockumentary kind of series as are The Office and Parks and Recreation. It's kind of like that documentary, like they're being filmed kind of like deal. And it's hilarious, it's such a good show. It's a little bit older, but it's so good. I like the TV series way more than the movies as well. And then I also love Carl Pilkington. We watched The Moaning of Life this year and also An Idiot Abroad. And basically, it's all about him traveling. He basically hates everything. He whinges the whole time, which sounds really boring, but it's hilarious and amazing and one of the best shows ever. And I just love him to bits. Definitely worth a watch if you like traveling shows and you want to see it from like a different point of view. And then the last show I want to talk about is a little bit more of a serious one, like a drama. It's a prison drama and it's called Wentworth. And it's basically like a more serious kind of Orange is the New Black. Just secretly between you and me, I actually like Wentworth better, which I know is like scandalous, but I think Wentworth is awesome it's such a good show it's just such a like dramatic series it's shocking and it's addictive and it's so good i love it i wrote down five movies that i loved this year two of them were to do with space interstellar and the martian i loved both of them they were both so interesting they're both about like living in space kind of i guess i loved jurassic world which coming from me is like a big thing because i didn't really like jurassic park very much but jurassic world was so good i loved it i also loved spy hilarious movie and then my favorite of the year was the kingsman secret service funniest movie ever it was kind of like i don't know it reminded me a bit of austin powers but it was so funny and like just such a good movie i loved it so much it was like my favorite of the year i'm just going to skip over these really quickly as well i've got a few favorite playstation games so if you love playstation or probably xbox i don't really know i don't know what's on xbox but the walking dead season one and two freaking loved it some of you might have seen pewdiepie play it there was a tongue twister i haven't seen him play all of it i just watched a couple of episodes after i finished playing the game for myself it's such a good game and it's so sad like i literally like cried in some of the episodes it's basically the kind of game where you pick what each character says and does and you're kind of responsible for how the game plays out so depending on the answers you choose it's like a different ending for everyone and it's such a good game peggle 2 was my favorite game to play with hamish or one of my favorite games to play you guys probably know what peggle is it's such a good like just addictive little game and we did all of the challenges together i loved it also a few others to look into i'm not going to talk about them too much just because i know heaps of you guys won't really care and it's just too hard for me to explain what you do but poyo poyo tetris is a japanese game so good you kind of have to like learn what all of the menus mean because it's all written in japanese but it's such a fun game if you love tetris worms battlegrounds it's my favorite worms and i love playing it with hamish or like with a group of friends Towerful ascension is such a good like game when you're drinking like a drinking game again like a really good group game to play with your friends and then the last one again it's such a good drinking game it's called fibbage and it's that jackbox um game basically the whole aim of everything is just to like make up lies it's so good i'll list them all down below but yeah if you love to game like definitely check out these games they're so good i'm also going to make a spotify playlist down below of some of my favorite songs from this year and just for fun four foods that i started liking this year <laughs> This is so random. Wasabi, falafel, artichokes, and olives. I used to hate olives with a passion. I thought they were like the spawn of Satan. Now I'm obsessed with them. Artichokes are just good on everything, like especially pizza. I love artichokes on pizza. Falafel, I've just been living off. Especially falafel with skinders. They are so good. It's like my favorite takeaway. And then wasabi, I literally cover my sushi in wasabi and like burn my mouth and cry. But it tastes so good. And I also really like wasabi peas. I tried them for the first time like a month ago and I'm like, hmm. So yeah, there's a bunch of my random favorites this year. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below what's your favorite movie, song, food, and beauty product. I don't know. Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, just a little soppy thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for 2015. Whether you are an old or a new follower, viewer, subscriber, I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for the support and the love. My channel did grow quite a lot last year, which I'm so thankful for. And I am just so happy that you guys enjoy watching my videos as much as I love making them. Thank you so much. I love you guys so much. Without too much more soppiness and blabbiness, I'm just going to say goodbye now because otherwise I will continue talking forever. Love you guys heaps and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hi everyone. So today is my second favorites of 2015 video. My first one went up on Monday, which I will link down below. And it was my favorite drugstore and affordable products of 2015. Today is my favorite high-end luxury branded 